the abdominal exam is going to be basically palpating and listening. So they may listen for um, vowel sounds and they will either be normoactive, hyperactive, or hypoactive. You may hear um, the term a scaphoid or flat abdomen. You may hear abdominal distension. Uh, you may have a patient who has fluid in their ascites, and the physician may test for fluid wave, so that helps them to determine whether or not there's ascites, so be aware of that term as well. Um, on all patients, they're um, going to be palpating the different quadrants of the abdomen, so you need to know some of the descriptors of the different areas in the abdomen. In the middle, in the center, is uh, the epigastric area. And then you have a right upper quadrant, a left upper quadrant, left lower quadrant, and right lower quadrant. There is an area here in the right lower quadrant called McBurney's point, which is frequently uh, the area where there will be tenderness and appendicitis. The uh, liver can be palpated in the right upper quadrant. The gallbladder is also up there, so tenderness in this area is important. Sometimes the liver may be enlarged, in which case the physician may describe how many finger breadths below the costal margin the liver can be palpated. Sometimes there's what we call splenomegaly, and that would be on the left side, in the left upper quadrant. You may hear the term hepatomegaly, which is an enlarged liver, splenomegaly, or sometimes to abbreviate, the physician may say no organomegaly, and that's really referring to both the liver and the spleen. Sometimes they'll reach around to the back, or they may do this during the back exam and tap on what's called the CVA areas, or the flank. CVA stands for costovertebral, costovertebral angle, and that's where the kidneys are. So if you have pain or tenderness in those areas, it could be a kidney problem. Now, of course, there are a lot of organs down low, and um, we call this the suprapubic area. So that would have to do with the bladder, uh, in a female, the uh, uterus, the ovaries, that sort of thing. Uh, positive findings that you might have in a patient with uh, appendicitis, you could have tenderness over McBurney's, or they may, the physician may check the left side and see if pushing or letting go there gives you pain over McBurney's. It's almost like it's referred pain in a different area. That's called Rob Singh's sign. Uh, the other findings that might be of some importance there would be a pulsatile mass on the left indicating a, an enlarged aorta and possibly an aortic aneurysm. And let's see, what else should we know there? That's, that's probably the major findings that you're going to have on the abdominal exam.